Let's take you through a quick demonstration on how you can fully brand your SuperSite URL. This can be done by either using DNS records or domain forwarding. Let's begin with the DNS method. Log in to your reseller control panel and go to Settings, SuperSite and Partner Site, URL. Here, copy the partially branded SuperSite URL as it will be required ahead. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's use the domain testingpurposes.info. Now we need to access the DNS console for the domain testingpurposes.info. Go to the Products tab and click List All Orders. Select the domain name, which in this case is testingpurposes.info. Click on DNS. First, we will activate the free DNS and then select Manage DNS. Next, you need to add a CNAME record for www.testingpurposes.info to point to your partially branded URL. Select CNAME records and click Add CNAME record. Enter www in the host name column. Select the second radio button and paste the partially branded SuperSite URL that we copied earlier. We do not need to change the TTL value. Then click Add Record. Moving on, you will need to go to your reseller control panel and click on Settings, SuperSite and Partner Site, URL, and click on the SuperSite URL link. Here, you will need to enter your fully branded URL, which you entered while adding the CNAME record earlier. In our case, www.testingpurposes.info and click on Update. The last step will be to reload the SuperSite cache. This can be done from the control panel by clicking on Tools, Reload SuperSite and Partner Site Cache, All SuperSite and Partner Site Settings. After reloading the settings, do allow 24 to 48 hours for DNS propagation. You will then be able to view the SuperSite from your preferred URL. Some caveats. In order for the DNS service to work, you will need to ensure that the domain is associated with the DNS name servers. If you wish to use your domain for email purposes as well, it is always advisable to use the CNAME record for a subdomain, like domain.testingpurposes.info or www.testingpurposes.info. This is done to ensure that there is no conflict between the CNAME record and your email services. We will now take you through how you can go about branding your URL using domain forwarding. For this, you will need to log in to the control panel and go to Settings, SuperSite and Partner Site, URL. Here, copy the partially branded SuperSite URL as it will be required ahead. Next, you will need to avail of a domain forwarding package. Go to the Products tab and click List All Orders. Select the domain name, which in this case is testingpurposes.info. In our Domain Forwarding Management Console, click Manage Domain Forwarding. Paste the URL we copied earlier in the Destination tab and then click Save. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will enable URL masking by checking the URL masking option. You will now have to go to your Reseller Control Panel and click on Settings, SuperSite and Partner Site, URL, and click on SuperSite URL. Here, you will need to enter your fully branded URL and click on Update. The last step will be to refresh the cache. This can be done from the control panel by clicking on Tools, Reload SuperSite and Partner Site Cache, All SuperSite and Partner Site Settings. Now clear your browser cache, and once done, you will now be able to view the SuperSite from your preferred URL. Some caveats. In order for the domain forwarding to work, you will need to ensure that the domain is associated with the DNS name servers. This concludes our demonstration on how you can fully brand your SuperSite URL.